yes, most likely we won't be traveling, but at some point we will, I think. Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Josephine, if this is your first time around, very, very welcome and regulars, thank you so, so much for clicking on my video once again. ASOS did a 20% off entire website, blah, blah. I jumped a gun and uh, here we are with a big, really, really big box. Uh, can I just say that I am so happy that they finally started to do cardboard box boxes instead of their like plastic because this one actually came intact that has been an issue in the past asos parcels arriving being completely damaged also liking that you can now return in the same parcel you can return from several different orders which is great so you guys know the real get your snacks your cup of teas let's get right into it i'm actually gonna roll up my sleeves for this one okay so starting off with the jumpsuit that is available in i'm told petite regular maternity and plus size but don't quote me on that so this one is petite but i still picked it up in the smaller size because because all the reviews said that it was huge so yeah i sized down to a uk4 or european 32 i love this jumpsuit uh, i love that it has got drawstring that you could you know um cinch in the waist it's supposed to be a culotte trouser i think um but to be honest, on my five foot three, you know, inches, I don't think that this is going to be a cute. Look. So it's definitely going to be a full length trouser on me or a jumpsuit. I believe on the model they had dragged down. I mean, this is clearly a boat neck, but I thought. I mean, on the model, it would look like that. But it doesn't look like it's cinched down. So maybe the idea is that you can choose whatever shoulder you want to have it on, or maybe it's just a regular boat neck. But they, the stylist, like of the photo shoot thought that it looked better as a one shoulder kind of thing. Slight balloon sleeve, very, very slight balloon sleeve. Uh, Emphasising that, it's not a big balloon sleeve at all. But oversized, you know, all over. I envision this one, again in my house in Spain, but you know, if we're gonna be more honest. Just strolling around in the spring, summertime. It might be too warm though, but I don't know. I just thought this would be really, really nice. I have been a sucker for jumpsuits in the past, so fingers crossed this one will be adding to my collection. Okay, so this is the jumpsuit on. I love the idea of it and I don't mind that it's not the softest material. I, just, I love the design of it, but I don't know if I would wear it this much. I don't think that I would actually. But I do love the idea of it and I love the design of it since it's not the most comfiest thing and it's like if it would have been a really really soft material this would have been great for loungewear but since it's this more stiff material it would have been better for like dressing up but then again it's like a really really loose fit and also this is a size UK4 or European 32 look how huge this is way too big way too huge um but it's a cute, it's very cute. It's a cute idea. I like the idea. Next up and something that I won't be showing, but um, if you haven't, I just wanted to give you guys a tip. If you have not tried these, um, they're called the Cat Seamless Bra from Weekday. Uh, you can get them from Zalando, you can get from Weekday's own website, obviously, and you can get them from ASOS. These are so, so comfy. They're true to size. They also do um, matching bottom. So you've got the thong, the uh hips i think and then you've got the brazilian or there's loads of different like anyway matching you can match a set to this one there's also different styles of the bra of the seamless one i have chosen the one that has got adjustable straps um because that is something that i usually struggle with with bras i need to adjust them shorter because obviously i'm quite short so, so yeah just a quick side note i uh, highly highly recommend this one i've got the beige one as well absolutely love it i wear it all the time it's so so comfy then something that i saw quite recently new in i added it to my favorites straight away and then once they had this promo with like 20 percent off the entire website i just had to buy it um this is going to be a very very difficult style because of my body shape and because of my height so this is Jamesa's design this is an oversized uh ribbed t-shirt dress now i'm not sure yet if i'm gonna need to belt this one if i'm gonna have to wear heels with it you know if that's the case then it's not as practical as i thought it would be i just thought this would be so so comfy roaming around in the summertime and also you can definitely try to style this in the springtime now with just thick layered leggings and you know layer on layer and just just keep warm it's actually quite thick so it's definitely more of a springtime dress 
than a summertime dress. Uh, I think for summer it's going to be way too warm. But yeah, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous oatmeal beige colour. Hopefully this, you know, fingers crossed, it actually looks fantastic. Um, and obviously since it is so big, I sized down to UK4, so European 32. Okay, so this is the t-shirt dress with a belt. I also put some kitten heel boots on. Um, yeah, I think it's a lovely, lovely look. And I absolutely love this one. I wish... I worked in an office, I wish that, you know, I had some place to go with this outfit and I absolutely love this one. Uh, honestly, like I said, like before trying it on, just layering this one with, I mean, you can say it was a boot, layering it with tights and like maybe heavy, thick, knitted uh, leggings if you're very, very, like if you freeze easily. Um, and I do like these wide sleeves. I think it's very, very comfortable. Bit, I think it's a fun design and I also don't think that um, I'll show you what it looks like without a belt I don't think like I mean it obviously doesn't look good without a belt at least I can't pull it off but it's not as horrible as I thought it was gonna be um, I definitely prefer it with a belt but picture this I'm comfy and I don't want to like I want to wear something really really comfy then I think this would be really really good and I can just roam around and just you know I go grab a nice soft drink and I sit outside on the terrace I think this is really really nice but I would probably wear it with a belt staying on that summer theme I just couldn't resist when I saw this set that I'm about to show you you're gonna want it straight away let me tell you so this is so so pretty and cute that I can't even I can't wait to show you guys so this is the short um it's in like a thin linen blend fabric so perfect for really really warm summer days I know it feels like miles away but I'm so excited, so I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna keep prepping for it. So, uh, it's this big, big balloon sleeve or wide sleeve. It's a, kind of like a, an Esmeralda top, but it's a really, really deep V-neck. Uh, deep V-necks is definitely something that I do enjoy because I've got quite a small chest. So, um, yeah, it's just something that I don't mind, I guess. Absolutely love that it's a cold beige tone, uh, but because of the stripes of like the pattern that is striped with white it will look really really good on me i think and, and definitely with a little bit of a tan going on i think it will look gorgeous yeah it's quite affordable for the entire set and i just can't wait to wear this maybe i mean we don't know yes most likely we won't be traveling but at some point we will i think okay this set has got me a little bit torn i love the entire fit but i don't know i mean because it's a little bit see-through i wouldn't know how to do with the bra that I'm wearing, the other one I'm wearing, and you know, still be comfortable in the summertime. Also, I think I need to size up because this is quite tight. Um, so I should definitely order a bigger size. It's a really, really cute set, actually. I, I really, really like it, but I think I need to go up a size actually for it to be comfortable and look better. Uh, the question though is, what's gonna happen on the upper part? But yeah, do you know what I would have liked? I would have liked pockets on this one actually pockets is a must when it comes to shorts or just anything i also picked up a small little scrunchie that was in the sale just you know because she doesn't love a scrunchie and it's a great feature to any outfit and i do love my polka dots so yeah picked up that one that was just a few like one pound or something and then because i picked up the like so many summer pieces and spring pieces i don't know why i like sunglasses so much but i'm not like obsessed with them just as like i mean i love shoes more but they just do so many different things for a look so i found these ones really really wide cat eye now i've got quite a small face so it's really really like sunglasses can be quite tricky for me actually i think these look all right but they definitely add to like they 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 give a little bit of a mosquito vibe don't they uh but let me know in the comments please do uh i think i got these ones uh they're from the new collection i think asos design asos own brand i think they're right they're definitely dark so i would definitely be protected from the sun you can feel that um you know sunglasses some sunglasses they don't like protect you all the way around but i definitely feel like i can look around and still feel protected from the sun so that's a really really good thing 
Now, I don't know if you remember, or remember, but this is a really, really old Asus Design dress, or old, I'm not gonna say old, but this has been in my saved items for about a year now, I think, or maybe even, yeah, probably a little bit shorter because I probably added it in like April, May 2020, so last year. Uh, found this one in the sale and I was like, do you know what? I might as well try it. Um, having it here looks very, very wide and big um, and probably, it won't be a good fit actually like i can see now why i've been dragging up for so long not buying it but yeah um the idea is still very very nice and this is me sizing down so this is a uk4 or european 32 i mean look how wide this is so it's going to be really interesting to see what it looks like on but i mean it was very very, very affordable and i if you haven't guessed already, I'm so, so excited for spring summertime. I just can't wait. Right guys, it was just like I thought. This one is way, way too big. I had to add a belt. It's crazy to me that this is a uh, European 32. I mean, it kind of looks like I'm wearing Nana's nightgown, but I it was all white in the beginning. And then I was like, ooh, let's embroider a little bit of cool black details over it and make it modern, but it didn't work. Still, like it's still Nana's dress, okay? Nana's nightgown. <laughs> but I mean, look at this. It's just so, so big. And it just doesn't work on my little, with my tiny little short legs. This just doesn't do anything for me. So yeah, definitely gonna have to return this, sadly. Um, but then it's good. Like then I know that I won't have to dream about this dress anymore because it doesn't work for me and it doesn't look good. So it's a sad day, but I'll get through it. Then finishing up off with the big, big finale and the big like main piece. Hopefully this will be just as gorgeous as I imagined. It has got this gorgeous, gorgeous wide sleeves. I mean, this just gives me major, major Spain vibes. I mean, look at this. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous dress. It has got a little bit of see-through, like peek through detailing and uh, a bow detail. It's this embroidered and glaze kind of thing, uh, but in a mustard yellow color. This is definitely more of a summer dress. Uh, for springtime, at least in Sweden where I live, it's gonna be way too cold for that. So definitely a summer dress, but hopefully it will look absolutely amazing. Here it is. I'm gonna be brutally raw and honest. I had really, really high expectations of this dress. I love it, I love the fit, I love the design, I love the vibe, but yeah, you can see that. That's gonna, firstly, make me go mad. Um, like just, it falls down, like, all the time. The sleeves just falls down all the time. Like, this is just not something that I would opt for on an everyday basis, even though I would, Look at that, it's just falling down with it. Okay, even if I would have like an occasion or a garden party or something to like attend to, I actually don't think that I would go for this one just because of that fact that it just falls off literally when I'm just standing. Um, and like, listen, I've been there before, I've done that. I have patches dresses that do, you know, just the exact same thing and that annoys me so, so much. We don't want it to get embarrassing, okay? So, the verdict is, I think this one suits way better for someone who is taller. With that said, I would definitely still, I mean, for me, spring, summer season has already started. Sort of, kind of. I mean, I obviously don't live by it, but in my mind, I'm like already planning summer outfits and I will definitely be adding loads of summer dresses to my dress collection. Sadly this <laughs> won't be it. Okay guys that was it for my ASOS try and haul. Loads of spring and summer bits. Let me know your thoughts on that. Do you think it's way too early for that or are you just as excited as I am? Let me know down below in the comments and hopefully you are doing okay and if you're already please hit the subscribe button and join the fam. Like I've said before I make loads of fashion content, uh, a little bit of home and interior uh, related as well definitely a lot more now uh, since we're spending a lot of time at home um so if you do like my style and you'd like fashion content then please hit the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and uh, i will catch you guys next time have a lovely lovely evening bye